obviously already know about this, but the great thing about that is we can go in and have a look at the pricing. Um, so I've had a look, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, you get 375 gigabyte hours free a month. Uh, and when you go over that, it's just seven cents a gigabyte hour, which is, um, I think that's uh, pretty good. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about today. I wanted to talk to you about, of course, the <laughs> upcoming uh, robot apocalypse. Um, if you don't know about this, go to ibm.com forward slash robot. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, my four-year-old daughter's been helping me with uh, with how we're going to cope with the uh, the robot apocalypse. Um, she's got uh, this idea for a robot decoy um, deploying app. Um, and we've got two versions of the app, uh, one with this uh, pencil uh, version robot that runs towards you and away from you, and this robot on the right here, which runs left and right. Uh, and really what I wanted to show you, um, the real reason for this video is to kind of show you how can I use um, my, I guess, my free allocation. Because uh, a lot of the time when you're using Bluemix, um, the great thing about it is you can kind of try out an idea. And you can do that at the, uh, at the kind of the free level. Um, and before you've you know, got a paying client or you've, you know, you've got a budget for it, you can actually play around in that 375 gigabyte hours a month and do stuff. Um, so I didn't want to split apps or pull one app down and put the other one up, just, you know, kind of stay under my, um, my, my free limit. So I thought there must be a way for me to run uh, two apps under the one instance. Um, so here, if I click on Playground 2, cartesiancreative.com.au, you can see I've got my Robot Decoy 2 um, deployed. You can see there's the URL, custom URL for it. Uh, if I come back in here and click on Playground 1, there we've got the first version of the, um, the robot that runs towards you and away from you. Um, so how am I achieving that? Well, basically it's just a simple routes file, right? Um, so I've got uh, the two versions up on the, uh, on the cloud and also two versions for just when I'm on my local host when I'm on my laptop just developing. So I develop on a laptop, push it up, and all these four uh, domains can stay in the app always. Um, and they just basically go where they need to go. Uh, just very quickly, I'll show you where that uh, setup is. So first thing you do is you manage domains and you add your own uh, domain in there, and then you can add your subdomain. So there's Playground 1 and Playground 2. Uh, so I hope that ho uh, helps someone. And um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can get in that, um, in that free tier, um, you know, 10 megabyte um, Postgres database is free. You know, um, I'm running this at 256 megabytes. That's never going to hit the um, the 375 um, gigabyte limit per month. So have a look. Um, I hope people are enjoying it and um, yeah, get into it.